Juan writes, hello guys and gals of Movie Talk. I really hope John gets to answer this question before he leaves Collider. You're in luck. <laughs> Do you like how what you started all those years ago evolved into the type of show Movie Talk is now? Do you have a different vision for the show? And if so, can you explain what were the things that you tweaked along the way to make Movie Talk the way it is today? Maybe things you tried that did not work and things that you changed that worked for the better. Maybe even how the transition from AMC to Collider affected the content of the show. Good luck in your future projects. I hope you will still post things on your own YouTube channel. And congrats on doing a great job with Movie Talk and finishing your novel. <laughs> Thanks for Movie Talk and the other shows and for bringing in the schmoes to Collider. Can't wait to see the next phase. Uh, well, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it, it is funny. You know, Dennis and I, we reminisce every once in a while about remembering. And, and I had been doing it for a while, even before Dennis came on and joined me, about you know, where we, we came from. And, you know, it started with me with AMC just using a spare bedroom to record some stuff, and that was it. And then as we started to grow and evolve, you know, Dennis and I, we set up shop in this converted storage closet at, at the AMC Burbank 16. It literally was a converted storage closet. Uh, so we started shooting things there. But honestly, what, what we have now here, this is kind of the fruition of what I thought movie talk should be. Like when I started, um, I actually started the world's first movie podcast. It was called the Movie Blog Audio Edition. And the whole idea at the time still is my philosophy today. When me and my buddies talked about movies, we sounded more like sports fans talking and blah, blah, blah. And when I would listen to people like on television or in print talk about movies, it was usually from more of an artistic point of view. It was more of a philosophical discussion than anything else. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's great, that's wonderful. But it wasn't speaking to me as an audience member. And so my philosophy was, I wanna bring a sports fan's enthusiasm and mindset into the world of movies, talking about movies as a film fan. And we did that, and for whatever reason, it clicked with our audience at the time when we were doing the podcast. We won the first like uh, podcast award that the bloggies did, and we were the first podcast of the year. We rolled on, we turned it into the video edition. Um, and then, you know, it all just kept going. And when I joined up with AMC, I told them, you know, they were just wanted written articles, but I told them if I come on board, our goal is to do audio and video. That's what we're gonna do. And it took a couple of years to get there, but we got there. And then it became, once we got the show going, it became about fiddling with formats. Um, and then once I knew what the format was, the key, the only way it was going to work is to have the right people involved. And like I said, we got Dennis on really early. We had Amy Rose Eisenbach, for a, who was my right hand for a really long time, and she was incredible. And then eventually we brought on guys like Schnepp came on and the Schmoes. And it's just to the point now that it really is, in my opinion, firing on all cylinders. It really is working the way I want it to work. And that is kind of part of the reason why I feel so comfortable that now's as good a time as any for me to step away because I do feel like all the right pieces are in place. I feel like it's operating so smoothly right now. I feel like it's firing on all cylinders. Now's as good a time as any for me to go. As far as some of the things that we've tried before in the past, look, I have an absolute zero fear of failure. I don't mind trying new things out of fear that what if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's always been my philosophy. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And so through the years, we've tried some things that we don't do anymore. You know, we remember a Versus. We did, uh, mm -hmm. we, back when we were at AMC, we had AMC Versus. We gave that a shot. We thought it was a good idea to try. We tried it, didn't work, we pulled the plug. And we reinvested it, but we learned things from every failure that we had. And then we continued to build. So it's a really, I can see it for the next three hours and, and answer that question. But in short, I love where the show is at right now. I've always envisioned it kind of being at this point and a little bit more. And uh, as guys, as people who are followers of the show and viewers of the show, you guys are really lucky because you have a great team that's in place here. It's gonna continue to do great. And uh, I look forward to watching it uh, in the future. Yeah, and you're still gonna be on Heroes. I, I am still gonna be on Jedi Council. I am here. still gonna be on Heroes. And he's participating in the first match of the Schmo now. I still don't know if it's the first one. I keep telling you. <laughs> that. I'm telling you. Even even if even if we we're gonna tape these things, I'll make sure oh, that when, true, whenever yeah. it is, we're gonna make sure yours is the first one that airs. And, right. you, and you'll still be coming to visit on Movie Talk as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, the thing is, I purposefully picked this place as the Clyder. I'm not lying here. <laughs> I purposefully picked this place as our new studio for for Collider, and at the time it was AMC, 
because it's within 10 minutes walking distance of my home. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm going to be very, very close. I'm going to be able to stick my nose in from time to time. This is just the last movie talking to me on. It'll be like you never left. It'll be like I never <laughs> left. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.